All right, welcome to video two on setting up a mission with uh, Instant Mission Maker. As you can see here, we've got the uh, inside area coming up to the oil rig. Now, if the person turns around and tries to land on that oil rig, as soon as they break that box, it'll activate a trigger. So we go in here, that's that section right there. Um, once again, compass pointer, whatever you want. Now, so, say, uh, land on the pad and pick up the boss. Okay, that sort of lets them know that they're in the right area. Uh, you can make it as complex as you want. You can make it to where the person, um, the, your co-pilot actually talks to the pad request permission to land and all that sort of stuff. You can even make it to where they don't have permission to start with and they've got to circle around the pad for a little while and then eventually they get given permission. Uh, do really whatever you want. So now what will happen when they break that box? The co-pilot will turn around and tell them to go and pick up the boss. So we then now need to make it to where the person lands on there. Now as you can see here what I've done is I've actually put the helicopter on the pad where I want them to land. We just go into Instant Mission Maker, user should, and then land inside an area. Now click use plane position. Now you'll see here that they've got the width as 328 again. And just and as you can see that's too big there's a box there, you can see the box going around. Now the problem you might have is that's now made it if the person lands on this section here, like they can land here or here and it'll register that that's a successful landing and really that's not what you want. So what you do, once again, come into here and you'll see here that the altitude has been set to zero. Now, we're not wanting it to be zero. We can see here that our altitude is 146. So if we go up and make it 140, that'll be safe enough. And make it with a helicopter, yes, 68 is usually pretty, not, pretty safe. Height's not really an issue, but you know, just keep it tidy and then you, here you can click you've got any type of landing they can actually do a skid across and it'll count as a landing for us we want to make that a uh, full stop landing now if you're worried that the person's going to take too long you can make it to where if they haven't landed within 60 seconds after they get told to land and pick up the pad that they get a warning you know um, and if they don't do it within two minutes or whatever you want to do that can be a failure but we're not going to worry about that right now and that's all set so now you can see here the box is about the right size it's in that area they really can't land anywhere else except for that pad and that will do, create the next trigger next thing we want to do is create the boss now we're going to set the boss right here but we don't want him to come out just after they land. We want it up here somewhere. So what you do, put in here AI scenery, add scenery object, and go down to FSM. Once again, this is uh, the problem with um, Windows, uh, Windows 7 and people. And we want aircraft crew, oh, general crowd, no, we don't want that, we go down, alright, so we want the people EMT1, If you, what you can do is click thumbnails, um, in XP, that will still actually give you a, a diagram of what the people look like, Windows 7, for some reason, doesn't seem to do that, so we've got people EMT1, now we use plane position, we go and have a look, doesn't seem to be anything there, remembering that we used plane position. So if we go and have a look, oops, that's not the view we want, not that. There we go. Now, can't 
seem. Why not? Because once again, altitude is sitting there. He's now currently sitting on the water. So we go 142. Go have a look. And there he is. Once again, use the mouse. Move him to wherever you want. So we want him to be over there near the door. It's pretty close. Say so something like that. There. Now we've put him right at the top here so that he's there when the person lands. Okay, so we then go back. Person lands inside the area. What do we want to do next? Say, um, here comes the boss. Now, what we can then do is AI scenery hide AI scenery object once again it's chosen that it must be that person there you're talking about if you've got five people there you can choose which one of the five is what you want to disappear there we go in now what will happen the person will land on the pad that person will then disappear signifying that that person's now come into the aircraft All right. so what you then might want to do is say now we might put a little bit of a delay on this one, so say four seconds, just to make it a little bit more realistic. Uh, uh, thanks for getting me. Let's go back to base. Now, once again, you might want to choose a different voice here. Um, because of the fact that you know, this is a new character and right now what you can then do so what's going to happen person lands that character is going to disappear and then ask him to head back to base you then can turn around user should leave an area use plane position once again go the 60, 60, 60 and put the height once again at 140. Now here you can activate your remind in 60 seconds and fail if they don't do it within two minutes. That's just to stop anyone sort of sitting there and doing nothing. Um, put whatever message you want there and that'll come through on your default voice. Alright, so now what do you want to do next? Well, what I find is a good thing to do is make it to where things get a little bit hairy. So say you want them to be in the air and all of a sudden they have to come across an accident. In the next video we're going to discuss putting an accident scene somewhere and having those people having to land at the accident scene and getting that person back to hospital.